What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Fresh Take Anime Edition. We are on number eight, and I got with me Shep. What's going on, y'all? Let's talk anime. All right, before we get into our uh, Dragon Ball Super episode number 92, uh, brief recap, uh, Netflix, they dropped the teaser trailer for Castlevania, the animated series. Um, We also got a release date. They have moved it up. Initially, um, reports were saying it was going to... Released late October, early November, but apparently they Netflix changed their mind. It's releasing July seventh, so uh, thirteen episodes July seventh. I may have to take that day off. But <laughs> that being said, uh, Shep, I'm sorry for you. Your thoughts on the trailer? Um, I'm marathoning this show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's one way it, to put it. <laughs> it it um th- they didn't show a lot, but it showed enough to pique my interest. I saw, I wouldn't say it reminded me of Vampire Hunter D or Helsing, but the vibe, you know, stuff's about to pop off. So I'm like, Van Helsing for the win. Let's see. Yeah, um, it did pique my interest, and I'm glad it stayed true to what a teaser is. Um, a teaser, I've always said this, a teaser should not be over two minutes. It really shouldn't be over a minute, in my opinion. But this yeah. is like a, a minute 27, <laughs> but the first half of the of the actual trailer is a very old busted up looking NES. <laughs> <laughs> it's a homage to, to the original game and the original on the Nintendo. And in the original blood red cartridge of Castlevania. So the first like what 30 seconds? Yeah. And you yeah. saw him blow the cart and everything. I was like, okay. Okay. You know, like, you know you're not supposed to do that, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a big label on the back that says don't do that. But all right. Yeah, every, everybody does that. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, everybody did. <laughs> Some of us got smart and we use a little, you know, Q-tip with a little alcohol thing. But most of us just blew and hope it worked. Yeah, and, and prayed it worked. But uh, I, I me, me too, I am actually looking forward to it. My only thing is I hope it's Simon and not Trevor because one of the sequences in there when they show looks a lot like Trevor. I don't like Trevor. I like Simon. I'm a fan of Simon Belmont. I don't like Trevor. And well, I mean, um, yeah, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll concede to that. You're right. Simon I mean, is Simon, better. Simon's my favorite Belmont. Yeah, I'm with that. I, I could, I could, I could roll with you on that. Yeah, I just, I don't, I, I don't really care for Trevor. But like I said, if they, what they showed, we don't know who the, who all the people are in there because you only really get like two lines of dialogue, and <laughs> well, if it's, if, yeah. And well, if it's a good show, you know, they're going to show some hope and then wreck everybody and restart all over again. Basically. But and, like a rat. Hmm? And the one scene of Dracula getting out the freaking coffin looking like a damn Pantene Pro-V commercial. But other than that. <laughs> well, a true powerful man is a noble and he's luxurious and handsome and all the <laughs> ladies want him. Your hair has, has volume. <laughs> you know <laughs> dude? <laughs> But you yeah, want volume when you're slashing me immortals apart. Basically, <laughs> I mean, you gotta keep you gotta keep that hair looking luxurious for the for the ladies, you know, for the That's ladies. Right. It's all for the ladies. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, hopefully, we get like a good trailer because uh, San Diego Comic Con is coming up. Um, I think oh, yeah. in June, so That's we should time. get a full trailer at Comic Con or right before it, since it's coming out the first of July. You know. I, I, like I said, I was not expecting July. I, I thought it was going to be later in the year. Yeah, um, truthfully, uh, you figured it'd be a fall title, honestly. Yeah. Even uh, better to do it close to Halloween. That's what I would think. But see, then again, you got Stranger Things coming out on Halloween. So they probably mm, didn't want to cannibalize. They probably was going to cannibalize, and they didn't want to do that. Oh, uh, you know what? You're right. It want, it's smart in a way because you got to get your own window. You don't want nobody taking away the limelight. So that that's probably why they pushed it up. We, which would make sense. And on, on top of that, we do... We did get confirmation that Voltron season three is going to be releasing in the fall. Yes. I'm wrapping up season two right now. Sorry. Yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's like a give and take kind of thing. So I, I understand why they pushed it up. I just didn't think it was going to be this far up. But hey, if you're going, you're going to let me watch it early. Hey, I, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I can do that. So yeah, looking forward to Castlevania. Uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Um, will you be watching it? Will you be uh, checking it out when it hits J- July 7th. And who's your favorite um, hero or protagonist from the Castlevania series? Let us know in the comments, man. So, yeah. Dragon Ball Super Episode 92. Um, I didn't... Go ahead. 
I'm in love with Colorful, man. <laughs> I love that girl, man. She's awesome. <laughs> She's what a female scene is supposed to be, Dagna, but... Yeah, I freaking love her, dude. <laughs> I, 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 she's awesome. I, I feel bad for Kaba a little bit because Kaba seems like he can't win for losing. So, for real, he just he's like, "Yes, I finally made it. I'm good. I'm gonna show her, so then she'll get strong." And she just kind of s- s- left them in the dust. I'm like, she, the way she did it, she did it so fast that I'm like, okay, I get what Toriyama and other um people were saying when they're like, her battle sense is on par with Goku's, which leads me to believe she's probably going to fight Goku in that turn, oh. at some point. Oh, yeah. If, so, if she doesn't seek out Goku, Goku's going to seek her out. Yeah, something's going to happen where they, where they, where they, they exchange blows. Um, now, the whole thing is she does it, and she does it fast. Like, he tells her, because at first he's trying to get her mad, which he apologizes for profusely afterwards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it makes it funny. <laughs> Cause oh, man. It's obvious he's kind of afraid of her a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even though he's a Super Saiyan, he's kind of afraid of her. I'm like, dude, you a Super Saiyan. Why the hell are you afraid of her? You really shouldn't be afraid of her, dude. <laughs> and then you see why he's afraid of her, because she catches on to stuff fast. Yep. So, yeah. Um, he shows her how to use it. He, she learns. She catches on like that, and she wants Kale to learn her learn how to do it. She pretty much just tell Kale to come but, out, and you do it now. And Kale's like, "Well, I can't do it." She's like, "Girl, come on, and do it." <laughs> you know what I find interesting, and this this is one of the things I really like about Super, because little by little they're explaining all of this stuff in the Dragon Ball universe. Because yeah. you know people are saying you have to be angry. No, no that's really. the easiest trigger. Yeah. Now, you just straight up explained, oh, well, you know, it's this tingly area here, and if you focus your energy at this point, it'll activate the transformation. Because she was sitting there like, why do I got to be angry? Can't yeah, I just yeah. transform? <laughs> yeah, because... That I was mean, such I, a Goku... That was a Goku question right there. Yeah. Because, well, the funny thing about it was, like, when, when Goku... When it first happened, back in Dragon Ball Z with Goku, you got to remember oh what God. happened. Uh, Goku just watched his best friend die. Like, literally just get blown up. He watched Piccolo get hurt. And all this stuff is happening in front of him. So he was just getting angrier and angrier. And Frieza was just not helping the situation. So he just lost it. When Vegeta went, he got mad at himself. Same thing that Gohan. Gohan got mad at himself. So... That's the way that they learned how to do it. Now, when Goten and Trust come on the scene, they were natural because they were pretty much born Super Saiyans. Mm-hmm. From, from, I mean, that's pretty much the only explanation we got. But you're right. This they actually explain like you don't have to actually be angry. And I remember back at the end in the Boo series that the um, Grand Kai, the, the Elder Kai, said you, you don't have to be angry. It actually, anger actually, you know, drains you a little bit. Because you have to yep. keep that anger, that, that that rage up, and that's what... And that's, yep, and that's why you notice the Super Saiyans moving forward, when they transformed, they were more calm. They've learned the way to harness it naturally without any real strain. Mm-hmm. That's because they... And that's why I loved when they did that little thing where he explained the transformation to her, and she was just like, why do I have to be angry? He's like, so how did you transform? Oh, well, I focus energy here and here and here. It's like, oh, really? And she did it. Yeah. So now, I'm glad they're getting back to that, explaining stuff. And I also found something that was really cool, and I kind of wish Andre, um, the game ID guy, was here because he actually brought this up yesterday. I noticed mm. it when I watched it again this morning. She actually did Brawley's Blast. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. That blast that she does is Brawley's. Yeah, the way she focused the power in. Yeah. And that, that, the, the circ- that circular spray, and then she fired it off. Yeah. Yeah, he did that in the he did that in the movie. Yeah, so I mean, are they gonna just make Kale a tank and make give Cauliflower like his uh, I was thinking the same powerful. thing too. Because you were powerful. talking about it. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I mean not as powerful as as have Cauliflower's not as powerful as Brawley's, but getting there basically. And just have Kale be like a freaking tank that you can't move. Yeah, it feels like they got split. Like they were supposed to be one person. I can believe you know, that. Ca- <laughs> like cauliflower is like the technique 
and like yeah. the, the the personality, and then the pure power and rage is is going to be um Kale. Yeah, so I, that's the impression I'm getting so far. That's the same impression I'm getting. Um, now th- before we go, we're gonna go back to the whole Kale thing before we wrap up. But um, there is one thing that they do talk about in the um episode that I think is of importance, and Goku gets called out for lying. Now. <laughs> I don't buy this because one, Gohan told him to lie. Now, my thing was, I can understand him not telling like Bulma and Chi Chi and them, but I always said like they should have told the people they're recruiting the truth. At, like, at the Goku very least, to tell everybody the truth. If you remember, Goku wanted to tell everybody the truth. Mm-hmm. Gohan told him not to. And Goku, being Goku, did what he said because to Goku, Gohan is smart. So yeah. I need to do what Gohan says because Gohan's smarter than I am, which is yeah. ridiculous, I know, but it's Dragon Ball, so we just have to go with it. <laughs> you know? it, it goes in line with his character, though. Like, Goku yeah. understands that he doesn't have normal common sense. Yeah. So, <laughs> so his son is far more superior to him intellectually as far as he can tell. So he's like, all right, well, if you say that, I guess you're right. Yeah. Now, of course, Piccolo knew the truth because... Goku can't. Goku doesn't lie to Piccolo, so he can't. Yeah, so, <laughs> Piccolo, Piccolo will catch him in a half a second, so he don't even bother to try. Yeah, so of course they find out Krillin gets, um, Krillin gets upset, and I kind of understand why Krillin got upset because when you think about it, Krillin is his best friend. And at the end of the day, he should at least told Krillin the truth. Now the funny thing about it is Krillin makes this good this this speech, and you're like, damn man, Krillin got a point, and they even have him say this. Dumbest damn line right after that. They pretty much destroyed everything. And Elder kind of like, yep, you know what? That would have been cool if you just wouldn't have not added that. <laughs> yep, I love that. I love yeah. that scene because people, every now and again, as much as I, I don't like the comedy scene as much anymore, it was originally a kind of a gaggy show anyway. So they got to every now and again break up the seriousness. So, now, how did you feel about uh, Beers going full Samuel L. Jackson? Oh, my God, that was beautiful. <laughs> The timing was excellent. He just, like, they, somebody got it. Um, uh, no, um, Andre already did a little meme. Yeah. But somebody got it. Somebody, yo, I hope, t- I can't wait to see Team Four Star gets their hands on these episodes. Oh, yeah, dude, because that's going to be hilarious. Because basically what Beers does is he's like, oh, so it's like that. So he, he basically goes up to Krill and be like, look. You got two. You got one choice. You go. Get, you go into this tournament. You're not gonna get knocked out, and you better survive to the end. If you refuse, you're gonna die right now. Make your choice. Much. So I'm like, <laughs> damn, bro. Like, make your non-choice right now. <laughs> so of course, everybody's like, okay, we'll do it. And then, now y'all know I've said this on previous anime fresh takes. Um, I don't like this idea of them going to get Frieza. I don't. I, I just don't because Frieza is one of those characters that should never be redeemed. He's done way too much BS to ever be redeemed. So if he comes in to doing this and Dragon Ball has a way of redeeming their villains, um, they did it with Piccolo, they did it with Vegeta, you know, they have a way of like redeeming their villains. Frieza is too far gone. He, yeah, he, he's, his, he's the charm to his characters, he is a straight up, his personality is just, yeah. He's a 1980s villain. You don't redeem yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. at, at no point in time should they ever be redeemed. And Agreed. I just got a feeling they're going to try to redeem them, and I don't like that. I, I just don't like that. Because yeah. I, we get the, I get the feeling that Frieza knows about, you know, Zeno and all them. So he's probably not going to – he's probably going to abide by the rules um, during the tournament because he probably doesn't want to get erased. But yeah, will he? Will he? I know he at least fears Beerus. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we know that because we know he can't beat him. Mm-hmm. So the 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 my thing is, I don't want them to try to make it where, okay, he can be redeemed. Because I'm like, no, don't 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 redeem Frieza. I, right I agree with you on that. I yes. mean, it would be interesting to see him fight in the tournament in general, but I don't know. He's He's meant to be a selfish, egotistical jerk. Do in doing like his whole personality is just rotten. Yeah. Now the question is, did they are they bring him in so he can be the one team member that gets ringed out? Well, I don't think, but a character like Frieza shouldn't be 
ringed out that easily. No, not easily, but he he'll probably be the one that does get ringed out. Because if you think about it, you you would think that the way the way the original lineup was, I did not see a way they were gonna get ringed out unless it was gonna be Master Roshi. But if you bring Frieza in, then you could probably go in and ring him out and not ring any of the other people out. You know what I'm saying? Like have him like Tapa or somebody ring Frieza out. Gotcha. You know, j- just because. Now another thing, and we're going back because we're about to wrap this up, people. Um, we're going back to the 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 say inside the universe six say inside of this. Um, I, I I have a theory about what might happen at that tournament as far as uh cauliflower and kale and kaba i have a feeling somebody's gonna knock one of them out and vegeta is gonna get pissed that's why vegeta like in the in the intro they, they show vegeta fighting that girl from universe two yep um i got a feeling like she'll probably knock out somebody because yeah, he he looks he looks to them like they're his family like these are my royal subjects yeah because he still refers to himself as the prince Technically, she'd be the king, but anyways. Yeah, but I've never understood why he always calls himself the prince. They need to go into that a little bit. I have a theory about why he does that, but... Me too, actually. We'll have to discuss that at another time. Yeah, at another date. But to me, he still feels like he's the prince. So if you mess with a Saiyan, you're going to have to deal with him, basically. Yep. You know, so... These are my subjects. Step off. Yeah. So I got a feeling that that's going to happen. I still think that Cauliflower is probably going to fight... Um, Goku, or at least seek him out. Um, I don't know if they'll fight in this tournament, but they're definitely going to rumble at some point. They're going to have to, because Goku, Goku ain't going to be able to like sit up and see her battle sits and not want to try her. That's just Plus, it's a is. female saying he's never seen one before. Goku's naturally curious. Yeah, and, and on top of that, he's dumb. So <laughs> yeah, he probably that, approach her mad quick, say something to offend her, and then boom, fight. Yeah, basically. <laughs> So I, I'm expecting at least something to happen now. I know I've said before that I think like at the end of this arc that I don't think Zeno is going to erase everybody. Like we're gonna be some type he's of just going to move planets to the winner's universe. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think there's going to be some type of concession made. Yeah, because I, I just can't see like – because the, the way this is going, and I, I noticed this um, – when Kaba landed on uh, when he was training Cauliflower, he said he just learned how to go Super Saiyan uh, recently. So it's only been probably about a month or a month and a half since their tournament um, back in episode 30. It's been less than six months. I don't know the time frame, but it should have been less than six months. So if he just recently learned, then that means Zeno was planning to do this a long time ago. Zeno was probably planning to do that while he was watching their tournament. Well, kind of, sort of. Because remember, he did mention, when he showed up, he mentioned, I forgot what he said. I'm after he watched that episode, when he briefly showed up at the end of the tournament. Yeah, because I know he was, he was a little upset because they didn't tell him about it. Mm-hmm. And um, Champa and Beerus was like, they, they were all, um, they were all like, Paying apologizing themselves. profusely. And here come Goku just walking up. And shaking his hand, <laughs> mm-hmm. not knowing who he is, then, you know. So, well, he may be stupid, but he's at least polite. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, he, the Grand Priest and Zeno didn't get mad, so nobody else really had the right to get mad. So, but I mean, you have to think that they had already planned on doing this during. Yeah, during I, that I think. Point. Yeah, I think ever since that event happened. It was stirring in the back of his mind. Yeah. So I just love how his character, he'll quickly switch, like, I'll erase you. And I'm like, whoa, what? what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like when his guards was telling um, Goku don't get any closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was like, shut up, I'll erase you. <laughs> I was like, wow. And they backed off. <laughs> I, love, I love the contrast in personality. Yeah, because like when, when, when Goku's around, he's not quick to, you know, like Goku yeah. can pretty much do anything stupid. And, and he'll just laugh and whatever. Oh, this is Goku. This is fun. Yeah. And Anybody the else is don't like, get mad either, so I, which I'm still trying to figure that out, but yeah. <laughs> it, this, mm. 
the tournament is gearing up to be very interesting. And the next episode, we're going to get more with Kale, Kaba, and Caulifla. And Goku's going to meet Frieza in hell and make him mm-hmm. an offer. But I like to keep on hinting the technique and skill. And, like, this is what Dragon Ball used to be about. I'm glad they're bringing it back around meditation, yeah. focus, skill, techniques, trickery. Yeah, because I think that's, that's just the only blasting thing. and screaming all the time. Yeah. Is that that's the only thing that's gonna save Tien, um, Krillin, and uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Master Roshi? I can't wait to see those three in action. Yeah, because be... basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna be forced to be creative, and creativity can be fun to watch. How they find ways to trick people and take them out. Yeah, because they've already shown that Krillin's a fast thinker in the middle of a fight. Oh yeah. So that, that was beautifully well done. Yeah, I, I'm kind of glad how they showed that. Tien, they haven't showed him do crap. Yeah, so Tien, do uh, he's kind of straight laced. I don't know. How... Yeah, so I guess t- the, whoever they give Tien just gonna be, it's gonna be a straight up, it's just a up. battle, and hopefully he win, win, get winged out or not. Yeah, um, I'm telling you, Master know, Roshi and Krillin are gonna be the ones to watch for entertainment yeah. at least. They're gonna yeah, be coming yeah, up with some interesting things. Now, Piccolo, I want to see Piccolo. Just wreck shot. I want to see his new techniques. I mean, he's yeah. using his arm after it's already torn off to fire blast and stuff. Yeah, and we, we, know, we know if that turban and that, and that shoulder pads go off. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's about to get real. Yeah, <laughs> so I just, I just want, I, I, just, I want them to give him, give him some justice because, like, the last few times we've seen them, they haven't been doing your boy right. And, and I hate to sound like a typical Dragon Ball fan, but I would love to see some type of transformation for Piccolo. It doesn't yeah. have to be anything special. Maybe just his skin color gets a little dark and his eyes glow or something. I'll take that. Just something. Yeah, because he is supposed to be third strongest behind Goku and Vegeta. Yep. So, I mean, so I know y'all us. probably saying, I know some of y'all are probably saying, blasphemy is Gohan. Not really. No. Um, no, he's, he's catching up. But Piccolo will still, yeah, because you gotta remember it's fighting experience as well. That's one of the things they've been doing with Super's fighting experience does come into play, which is why, which is how Krillin was able to handle Gohan so easily. Fighting experience. Oh, hold on, hold on for a second. Okay, he had to drop out for a sec. So, but yeah, um. I, looking forward to it. Looking forward to where they go in the next episode. Um, they only got like three hours before it's time for the the tournament to actually start. So we're getting like some more universes coming in and everything. And I'm sorry, but I think the science universe is going to be the first ones out. Oh yeah, Still, I'm, and I'm watching these survival. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The survival yeah. modifications. I'm like, I'm like oh, yeah, that, that 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 crap look like it's not gonna work. Um, like, oh. <laughs> and, but that was an impressive suction cup, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it re- kind of reminded me of an OVA they did with um when they were doing the whole uh, plan to kill Saiyans. That's what it, that's what it looked like. So whatever it is, what it is. But um, <laughs> them in Universe Ten, I just don't have faith they're gonna make it. I kind of want to just to throw people off, have at least like one of them just wrecking people. And they're like, wait a minute, this bunch of meatheads actually can fight and yeah. use their brains. And drinking protein drinks. Um, <laughs> I love that protein shake break. <laughs> they had a protein drink. I'm like, okay, bro. I was like, wow, really, guys? Yeah, okay. Totally and then they did the music video. <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah, <sighs> trying, to get, trying to get him views up for because he, he might get erased. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was so that thing stupid, but I can I see that. Like, what? <laughs> That's I, too surreal. I'm like, Beers is eating like a Beers is eating like a maniac, and he's trying to get his views up. Okay, <laughs> everybody handles their stress differently, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, people, that is our uh, show for this evening. Um, we'll be back, of course, next week with another um, review of the, the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super. Uh, Shep, got anything you want to pimp out? 
Uh, no, nah, I've just been handling some life stuff, training, watching tons of anime. By the way, well, I'll talk to you offline about that. Go ahead. Yes. That's it. All right. Well, that's going to be it for me. Um, do check out my last couple of videos uh, on the Global Test Punch for ARMS. I uh, put, put a couple of vids up um, with some of the gameplay that I did. And I will be on again this uh, coming weekend as well. So be on the lookout for any of those vids. I'm, I might try to do one um, live. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can get it to work. I tried it last week, but it, for some reason, uh, YouTube wouldn't pick it up. So I'm going to try again this weekend. If I can't, I'll just go in and um, record it and put it up as soon as uh, it gets done rendering. So with that being said, I will see you guys on our next vid and peace out. Peace. Hey,